Okay, this video is about question number 16. This one, um, the math isn't so difficult, but maybe the, the English was a problem, so uh, can't be afraid of word problems and you have to become more and more confident, so keep trying these word problems. Let's take a look. I'm thinking of a number n. I multiply it by 3 and subtract 11 from the result. So multiply by 3, so I'm going to multiply this by 3 and subtract 11. So 3n minus 11. Okay, this result, so this result is greater than or equal to, so I'm going to do greater than or equal to, 3 less than one-third of the number, 3 less than one-third of the number, 3 less than one-third. All right, there's the inequality. Let's take a look again. Multiply the number by 3, subtract 11. This result is greater than or equal to 3 less than one third of the number. All right, so there it is. Now I'm going to multiply everything by 3 in order to get rid of this 3. So this is going to become a 9. This by 3 is going to be a negative 33. That's going to cancel. This is going to be a negative 9. So here we are. Everything's been multiplied by 3. Now I'm going to subtract n from both sides. So 8n. Now I'm going to add this 33 on both sides. 8n is greater than or equal to 24, divided by 8. n is greater than or equal to 3. So I found the solution set. n can be any number greater than or equal to 3. So n can be 3, 4, 5, 6, on and on and on forever. The question says, what is the smallest possible prime number that's satisfied? The smallest possible. So I'm looking for, if, if n can be any number, 3, 4, 5, 6, what's the smallest prime in there? Well, it turns out 3 is, and the n is greater than or equal to 3. So 3 is the prime number, and that is the answer to this question. This is the smallest prime number that works.